Kentucky home, making her way down the center line with this absolutely stunning young horse that she has big plans with for the future. Yeah, and this horse is just a nine-year-old owned by the Nutcracker Syndicate. 16-3, so quite a big horse, Irish sport horse. Liz has had a lot of success with this horse, and you can see why, even in that first center line and first shoulder in here, what a stunning outline these two present. Liz was our winner last year here in this division, and she is one competitive lady who's certainly come back to make her stamp yet again. You see she's in the double bridle, but it really does look seamless. She's able to kind of push the contact out there and really show this horse off. And that's what we're looking for off of B, a nice, very clear transition. You could see her kind of strike right off the letter. This horse just has beautiful movement and is just from, from front to back, looks all in harmony, looks in one piece. The rhythm, the weight carry here is just stunning. Beautiful. This is helpful to see just those finite details that can kind of give you one more edge, that little bit more of harmony. And the judges certainly seem to agree with that thus far. And Liz is someone I certainly go and watch ride her test because she starts the movements, she finishes the movements where they should be. She's not going to get, um, she's not going to leave a mark on the table. And there's a real understanding from the horses too when you when you watch her with her horses in the partnership is that there's a real clear expectation and a real clear understanding, which is, is really what you want. You want the horses to understand their job and understand the movements and that's just beautiful. Nicely done there on the half turn. The pirouette, I keep calling it a half turn, <laughs> but I know, I know what it is. You see her take a deep breath there and kind of say, okay, let's maximize the walk. That's always such a fine line of knowing where you can push the horse to, to get the most out of that movement and kind of that fine line to not go quite too far, mm -hmm. that you're pushing them past the balance. And definitely a shout out to the grooms here because this horse has turned out spectacularly. to watch the difference. I know you had, you had spoken about it in the walk, the, the working walk, the extended walk, the collected walk, and it's the same in the canters here that we're looking for an extended canter, a medium canter, a collected canter. Um, and, and really what we're trying to show is that the three different canters that we're going to need on the cross country. And, and here at, at Land Rover, let's be honest, sometimes five different canters is helpful. <laughs> but, um, you know, what we're trying to look for in the dressage is that you have the, the easy accessibility to three different canters so that you can technically have your coffin canter, you can have your galloping canter, you can have your drop canter. Um, and that's what they're showing off here. And that's what they're creating when they design these tests for these eventing horses. You know, a lot of times uh, it, there aren't as the same movements that are in a Grand Prix dressage test because the horse is a completely different make. You know, it's like comparing a weightlifter and a, a triathlete. The jobs are different, so the expectation in the, the dressage is to show off different qualities. This horse just little bobbles in the changes, and that's where you see that this horse is younger, Sinead. This is where that's going to improve. There's going to be a lot of strength developed in that, and that's important to note as well that some of these younger horses, they're building their strength. It's like any elite athlete. It takes years to produce the strength that really is needed to be at the top of your game at 
the top level of the sport and yeah. certainly producing that. But Liz will be thrilled with that young horse in this big atmosphere. It's a great score for them, which we'll have for you momentarily. And this horse trends actually in the high 20s or low 30s. So I think that with those little bobbles in the changes, this is going to be one of the better scores they've had. And what a place to get to do it. I think when you come into this environment with these young horses, you're learning who they are and saying, how are you going to be on the top stage in the future? Yeah. And, and you're looking to start with a horse. I mean, if you can start with a horse that moves like that and obviously walk, watching it walk out of the arena, it, it, it's calm. It can understand the atmosphere. You can build the strength. And that often when you have a horse that moves like that, that's what you're looking for is for them to get mature enough and strong enough that they can carry that movement. They